the previous module i explained you about the capital structure and financial leverage which is the amount of debt in the capital structure because a capital structure is a combination of debt and equity that is borrowed funds and owners funds let us further understand what is positive financial leverage and negative financial leverage these these will be understanding with the help of examples but before that let us see what assumptions on the basis of which we will be understanding these are the assumptions we have taken three situations situation 1 situation 2 and situation 3 in all the three situations the total capital employed that is the amount of capital structure is 50 lakhs again total capital employed is 50 lakh here also and total capital employed is 50 lakh here also but this is a combination of owners funds and borrowed funds equity and debt owners funds and borrowed funds equity and debt so total capital employed of rupees 50 lakh in all the situation is a combination of owners funds and borrowed funds but the amount of debt we have we are assuming to be varying in all the three situations in the first situation let us assume that the company has not taken any loan so the amount of debt is nil in the second situation the amount of debt is 10 lakhs and in third situation the amount of debt is 20 lakh so the amount of debt is going on increasing from situation 1 to situation 2 and further to situation 3 another assumption is tax rate on the amount of profit is 30% in situation 1 also situation 2 also and in situation 3 also tax rate is 30% further we are assuming that earning before payment of any interest and taxes is rupees 7 lakh in all the three situation earning before interest and taxes 7 lakh in all the three situations and the amount of interest on loan amount of interest on debt is 10% in all the three situations with these assumptions we will be elaborating the concept of positive financial leverage which is also called trading on equity with the help of an example so as per this example earning before interest and taxes in all the three situations as per our assumption it rupees 7 lakh in situation 1 Seven lakh in situation two, seven lakh in situation three. When we have not paid any interest and any taxes, let us first reduce this I. That is, reduce the amount of interest, which is assumed to be ten percent. Since the amount of loan was nil in situation one, so we are not going to pay any interest. In situation two, the amount of loan was ten lakh, so rate of interest is. 10% of 10 lakh that is 1 lakh rupees and in third situation where the amount of debt was 20 lakh so the rate of interest at the rate of 10% the amount of interest is 2 lakh this interest rate this rate of amount is to be reduced from earning before interest in taxes after reduction earnings left that is earning before taxes but after paying the interest in, this is left with rupees we are left with rupees 7 lakh in situation 1 6 lakh in situation 2 and 5 lakh in situation 3 from this amount that is earning before taxes we will be reducing the amount of tax which is assumed to be at the rate of 30% 30% 30% lakh it's 2 lakh 10000 Thirty percent of six lakh, one lakh eighty thousand, and thirty percent of five lakh, one lakh fifty thousand. So this is the amount of tax in all the three situations which we are deducting. Now we are left with earnings after taxes. In situation one, we are left with four lakh ninety thousand. Situation two, four lakh twenty thousand, and situation three, three lakh fifty thousand. this is the amount that in three situations the companies are company is left with 4 lakh 90000 to be distributed among 5 lakh equity shareholders who are the real owners of the company 4 lakh 20000 in situation 2 to be distributed among 4 lakh equity shareholders and in third situation 3 lakh 50000 to be distributed among 3 lakh shareholders now what do we observe we observe that in first situation the amount that is earning per uh, 
earning per share is 0.98 which increases to 1.05 and further this increases to 1.16 in situation 3. This is what is the concept of trading on equity which is also called the positive financial leverage. This is an important concept and as per this with the employment of debt in the capital structure that is when we increase the amount of loan in the capital structure earning per share of the real owners increases. This is said to be the positive aspect of the capital structure which is to be taken care of while deciding about the proportion of debt in the total capital employed. I hope you are clear with this concept of positive financial leverage which is trading on equity. Thank you all.